السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو اینادر انفارمیٹیو ویڈیو اینڈ ٹو ڈے وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا بائنڈرس یو نو ڈیٹ وی ہیو اسٹارٹیڈ اے پلے لسٹ اباؤٹ دا ایکسپیرینٹس اینڈ دا لنک آف کمپلیٹ پلے لسٹ از گیون ان ڈسکرپشن وی ہیو ڈسکسڈ اباؤٹ دا ڈائلونٹس ایکسپیرینٹس ایکسپیرینٹس کلاسیفیکیشن اینڈ ٹو ڈے وی ول ڈسکس واٹ آر دا بائنڈرس ان دس ویڈیو وی ول لرن واٹ آر دا بائنڈرس what are the characteristics of a good binder what are the examples of the binders and how binders are classified binders are classified into three types we will discuss each class in detail with examples and precautions so let's start our video what are the binders binders are basically one of the most important pharmaceutical excipients which are used in the manufacturing of tablets capsules pills or dry powder suspensions what is the function of these binders the function of binders is to give a cohesiveness or binding properties to the powders to convert them into granules or in case of direct compression we also use binders which are known as dry binders and example of dry binder is microcrystalline cellulose commonly known brand is avicil this is known as dry binder because it also gives strength or binding to the powder particles to form the tablet so binder can be used in powder form or they can be used in solution form mean we can use binder to prepare solution suspension or a paste or they can be used in dry form and later on we can use any solvent to activate these binders so what are the characteristics of a good binder a good binder must be compatible with all the other excipients and api of the formulation it must be easily available and in case of wet granulation the binding solution prepared must have good spreading properties and in case of direct compression the binder used must have good flow properties like the avicil next one is the examples of binders which are used for solid manufacturing dosage forms commonly used binders are gums which are tragacanth or acacia starch cellulose these are common example of the binders one of the most important question which is asked is regarding the classification of binders how binders used in pharmaceutical industries are classified basically binders are classified into three classes 1 2 and 3 first one is natural binders second one is the semi synthetic binders and third one is the synthetic binders so natural binders as you know that name indicates natural means these are obtained from the natural sources and main examples are gums cellulose and starch these are the examples of natural binders but natural binders have some limitations or drawbacks what is the main drawback of natural binders the main drawback of natural binder is that they promote microbial growth so whenever natural gums are used they are a good source of microbial growth how we can handle this situation for precaution we always completely dry the wet mass immediately after the kneading step or granulation step and we can also add preservatives or antimicrobial agent to our formulation to prevent the microbial growth that is why in today most of the formulations do not contain natural binders because they are good promoter of the microbial growth the next one is the semi synthetic binders semi synthetic binders are manufactured by some modifications to the natural binders and examples are methyl cellulose hydroxy propyl cellulose and hydrox hydroxy propyl methyl cellulose the third one is the synthetic binders and one of the most commonly used binder under synthetic category is the 
PVP also known as collidone this is the synthetic binder what is the advantage of PVP it is soluble both in water and isopropyl alcohol so it was all about the classification of binders if you want to read this article the link of article is given in description you can visit my website farmandform.com to read more informative and interesting articles and share the video to others do subscribe my channel and till the next video allah hafiz